Good morning everyone, happy Monday, Meditation Monday. I've slightly changed locations this morning, so it's I'm sat under a different tree. Let us a little bit more light in until the canopy of the leaves come out. But I hope you're alright, I hope you've had a lovely weekend. And I uh, want to do something this morning which is... Um, been watching a lot, as you might remember from my previous videos, I've been watching a lot of uh, stuff from by by Wim Hof recently and um, his, his kind of policy or philosophy is always push yourself, always um, always be striving for, for, for kind of more than you can cope with kind of physically or mentally and with, with the with the outcome that this strengthens you physically and on a on an emotional and a mental and a soul level and obviously like I'm not an ice dunker yet but I might be trying it soon but um and another there's a group there's a group of people that went to stay and they've also they've also got a YouTube channel and and their their motto is seek discomfort <laughs> now I know this kind of goes against the grain slightly but if I look back over the years that I've spent kind of being me and and um, and kind of the way that I've I've dealt with being a physical soul on this planet it seems to me that I've always I've always been seeking discomfort in one way or another I've always been a, I've been always been an athlete who's who's strived to work to, to achieve at a high level you know this is partly because i do you know on a human level I'm, i am competitive and i i have that aspect of my nature which i which i i like to honor but one of the ways that this has come out has been very much through the spiritual work that i do as soon as i stepped onto the spiritual pathway I was push, 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 you know, I wanted the most light in my system. I wanted to do the most powerful meditations. I want, I, you know, like it was, I was striving to achieve the goal that we are all achieving naturally, but like way ahead of my time. And that pushed, that pushed me through some fairly intensive physical changes. You might have heard me tell the story about um, when I first downloaded my 12 chakras in 2003 or 2004 after Diana Cooper bought the meditation out and after persisting with them for six weeks solidly like you know that you get that column in get it anchored eventually I cleared what I needed to clear very rapidly but in the process of doing so booted myself into a uh, I needed to recover physically for six months basically after doing that it took my body and my energy feels quite a considerable time to readjust but that is naturally what we're going through at the moment it's almost like you know we i did it ahead of my time so that i know the process that we are all being you know like not subjected to but we are all undergoing at the moment so what i want to do this morning is is propose a seven days of light okay now this this is designed to push you if you are participating if you want to participate but not so much that you find discomfort or or that that you are that you are out, you are out of your usual zone because i know that we are all being kind of we are all being challenged by our circumstance at the moment but we respond and react differently to light and the inflow of light now than we used to because now it is more our natural it's more our natural territory was before we were striving to move quickly from 3D to 5D, so the transitions were more jarring. What we are dealing with mostly at the moment is energies that are being released on a on a denser level, and and that is the most challenging thing. Where these colossal fear releases around the planet are all coming up, we are, for want of a better word, we are the alchemists. We're the ones who are like, right, okay. All of this is being released again. I, I, you either bring it through your own bodies and fields, and you alchemize it, or you do it as a group, or you do it even consciously. Say, for example, calling in a seven-day downpouring of the silver violet flame, or or the the golden rainbow flame. We're always consciously striving to, in some way or another, push ourselves out of our boundaries. So, seven days of light. What I'd like to do is is pick you the 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 seven suns that we moved to on the on the winter solstice last year so that will be regal the son of orion sirius a alpharats the son of andromeda 
Alcyone, the central son of the Pleiades, Arcturus, Antares, and Vega of the Lyran constellation. So each day, starting today with Regal, pick a sun and bring it into your four, in, and bring it into your four body system. Now, this might not work for everybody, but just recently I've been kind of prompted to push or, or invoke my light levels at a level that is higher than 100%. So the ascension process triggers when our light quotient, that's uh, a jo Joshua, Joshua David Stone term or technique, your light quotient, when it hits 89.5, the ascension process triggers. Now we have all surpassed that level now. I don't think there's anybody on the planet, regardless of their level of consciousness, whose light levels are lower than 89.5. Otherwise they wouldn't be able to physically kind of exist in this space. And it, it kind of finishes on the other end at 95. So that is the bandwidth. So it's 89.5 to 95% light quotient to be within the fifth dimensional bracket. Now, just recently, I've been guided to push for 120, 120%. 120 So that's what I've been doing. When I bring in a light quotient, I bring it in at 120%. So I close my eyes and I ask Archangel Metatron for a light quotient increase. You can all do this with me now if you want. If you just close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, Call to beloved Archangel Metatron and ask him for a light quotient increase, but do it above 100%. Okay, so it might be 105, or it might be 110, or it might be 101. Whatever you, whatever number that you are guided for now, do it. I was told to go for 120, but I've been doing this a long time and I know my body some fields, so. Ask Archangel Metatron for a light quotient increase. And just do it a number above 100% and just take a few moments to feel the light above you building. And he's holding this particular ball of light in his hands ready for you. Now this, this light this morning, because this is seven days of light, is coming from Regal the son of Orion and it is beautiful blue white light filled with codes of higher wisdom and knowledge. So just sense and see Archangel Metatron high above you with this ball of beautiful blue white light in his hands. This light from Regal and now feel him pouring it down from the heavens and see it being received by the chalice of your stellar gateway, which is about a meter above the top of your head. See the golden cup or the golden chalice of your stellar gateway opening to receive the light from Regal. And just allow this to now filter down into your soul star, your causal, your crown, your third eye, your throat, just let it, let it rest in your throat, do any clearances or any loosenings of energies that it might need to do. Your heart, your solar plexus, And just pause for a moment in your solar plexus because there is a lot of energies that we are taking in from outside sources, from people that might be in states of distress at the moment. Just allow the light, the light of Regal, to settle within your solar plexus for a moment and just literally dissolve gently any foreign energies, any cords and attachments that you might have in there. And just feel them dropping away. And from your solar plexus into the bright orange of your navel, your sacral, 
which is a soft rose pink. And flooding into your base. Moving gently down your legs. Blow the soles of your feet and into your earth star chakra. Now anchor the percentage of light that came to you into your earth star chakra. Just place your hand on your heart if you wish. Take a deep breath in. And just ask your earth star chakra now to hold that light quotient. Could be any, any number whatsoever between 100 and you want to go for 120, then, then you go for it. And just feel your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual bodies lit up with this beautiful, high frequency, blue white light from Regal. Allow the light to expand from the chakra points outwards so that you are literally glowing with this light. Feel it releasing any resistance, feel it just kicking anything out of your bodies and fields that you don't want there. We've all taken on plenty of stuff recently and we're releasing plenty of stuff, so just allow the light to do its work. And just ground that vibration in. <clears throat> okay. Now open your eyes. Now tomorrow, do Sirius A. Okay, so that Tuesday will be Sirius A. Wednesday will be Alpha Rats. Thursday will be Alcyone. Friday will be the Mighty Arcturus. Saturday will be Antares. And Sunday will be Vega. Okay? And then, of course, we're back to Monday and we start something new again at that point. So pick a sun, and I, what I'll do is I will include the I will include the suns in 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 day order in the text at the at the, at the top of this video, and so, yeah, so just feel the difference that light has made that that light has made to you this morning. It's like we we have got an abundance of just of like a a veritable gem store of ascension energies coming in at the moment it's a case of working with them and and yes it in many cases it does mean pushing ourselves a little bit beyond the limits of our comfort the limits of our new our usual boundaries we are striving to move forwards at the moment and that brings me briefly on to cover a subject that actually makes my heart sing with joy. It's like my, my job on this pathway for, for many years, especially since I've been kind of meeting people in the field. I suppose one of my mission directors is to gather the teachers and nothing makes me happier than seeing people actually take the transition from, from where they were originally into the, the, the flourishing kind of like the, the soul pathway. Now this is a big jump and many of you know what I'm talking about because we're all, uh, in many ways we've been asked to do it at the moment. Our, our soul missions are becoming so kind of prominent and so apparent that, that we're, we're being asked to move from one com from the original comfort zone, maybe the comfort zone that paid the bills, put the roofs over our heads, put puts the foods on the put the food on the table. <coughs> And sometimes this can be a very sudden transition and sometimes this can be a slow transition that flourishes over time, especially with guidance. And, and uh, so I'd just like to mention a couple of people this morning that, that have taken the jump. And that's, um, if you want a lovely tarot reading and, and astrology as well, go and see Billy at Billy's Tarot Astrology and Healing. And also Lavisa, Lavisa Althorn, who has... I've been working with Louisa, Louisa for a long time and she is now running Ascension with Louisa and uh, Louisa is in Sweden and Billy is in is in the UK so yeah check check them out I'll, I'll include the YouTube links in in the bottom of the video but this is um taking the step from from what was into the ascension pathway is a big leap and uh, I think so for all of you that are making that leap at the moment I salute you. Lots of love to you all. So, happy Monday.
I hope I hope the light has lit you up and made you feel different. And like I say, it's one for every day of the week this week. <laughs> Seven days of light. Sending you all lots of love. Bye for now.